Hey guys, welcome back to the Rock Rockford Ordnance. We brought you a video on the ZPAP underfolder, and today is a range trip, except we're not at the range. We are out at our new homestead, and uh, it has went from ice station zebra to mud station zebra. I don't know if you can see this, but everything has turned to mud, including our temporary range here. So, uh, you know, we've got cornfields out there, and we've got woods back here, and of course, there is ice station zebra. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna put some rounds through it at about 25 yards, which is what Zestavis uh, supposedly sights it in at. And we're just gonna see how it runs. Just a basic uh, run through, function test kind of thing. Nothing uh, long, uh, maybe see what kind of accuracy we get. But uh, let's jump in and check it out. Well guys, we have our Zestava underfolder here and it came with a PMAG, but we're going to see how our Bulgarian waffle mags work. We've just got some Tula in here, 25 yards offhand, see how it runs. Let's try her out. Mag fits good. Well, function tested okay. Let's go check out the uh, target. Well, the good news is it was a little off to the right. So that means we can move our sight over to the left because from the factory, it was pushed a little over to the right. So that's good news. I can center that sight a little bit. But we're gonna do one more uh, five round uh, group and see how it comes out. Then we'll show them to you. All right, here goes another five. Alright, we'll go check those out. Well, as you can see, and with the exception of a little flyer up there, um, and I'm a little unsteady over there in the mud, but uh, they are all, oh, about an inch and a half, two inches to the left. So that's actually great news. When we center that site, it's going to be awesome. So not too shabby. All right, well, while we're at it, we might as well try out some other mags. These are those AC Unity mags. They've got the metal uh, up at the top, uh, front and back, and the feed lips, too. So we'll see how those run. Haven't tried them out really yet. Fit right in. Getting an uh, okay ejection. I got one sitting here. Uh, the rest are out in here. Maybe 10 feet, so definitely uh, not an overgassing situation. Matter of fact, the recoil is really nice. Mild and controllable. 
Okay, last but not least, we're going to try the P-Mags and uh, see how they run. So, yeah, just kind of first shots, you know. Put uh, a few rounds through each, see how everything functions, and uh, then we'll get to a little uh, hometown get down, so to speak, when we uh, make a visit to our ammo depot and get a bunch more ammo. Imagine that, the AK person, or AK, I don't want to say AK guy, but uh, the AK channel. And I go to do this test and don't have a lot of AK ammo around. All right, let's see. Of course, fits good. Let's see how it runs. Well, I didn't expect anything different out of Zestava. It's running fine. I mean, it's just a few rounds, but uh, I suspect it'll keep going that way. Well, I'd say it's uh, at least um, accurate and consistent. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna adjust that drum for the next uh, next little range trip and uh, move it over a bit and that'll make me happy so let's go inside wrap this thing up also drilled a nice little gopher hole in there didn't it all in one well guys i can't say that it was a new experience shooting the new zpap under folder because we're very familiar with them yeah and, and while my other ones are not necessarily put together by Zestava. All the parts were made by them. Um, so it's very familiar. And of course, it's like our ZPAP fix stock. But I do love these underfolder stocks. This one's breaking in. Um, it folds real easy. This is very tight back here, uh, but it bends. It's getting there. So, see, no problem. Um, I will say that. It's not going all the way up into lockup. I have to give it a little pop and then it pops out. Um, just break in kind of thing. So no big deal. Um, I do love the uh, Magpul grip uh, for comfort, you know, but for looks, I like the standard military grip and we're, we'll probably put one on. I do like the side rail because we can finally put a red dot or something on here and that's always a good thing. But this was always my go-to on my other uh, M70 underfolder for iron sights because they work so well. Um, I have noticed on this gun, if you notice in the video I'm wearing a vest and this kept snagging on it and just now when I went you know, loose clothes and look, it snags. So you got to be careful of that. I don't recall this that happening that much on my other M70s, but who knows? Um, just be careful of that and know that that it could hook. Uh, other than that, it functioned flawlessly. It does uh, not eject as far as most of my other M70s. I noticed that right away. At the max, it's going about 12 to 14 feet. In one case, it dribbled one out. Um, I don't know why, if that was a mag thing last round maybe. Uh, but in general, 10 to 12 feet, somewhere in there, which is fine. Um, it's not overgassed at all, so the recoil is very, very pleasant. And frankly, with the slant brake, uh, it works great. Uh, if you look at that target, it was shooting pretty fast there at the end, and they're all right in there. I say it all the time, don't, uh, don't be so quick to replace slant brakes. Slant brakes are great little devices. It's hard to beat them for the money because most of the time they come free, right? Unless you got a barrel nut or something. But they're great. They keep that barrel where it's supposed to be. And uh, there was a lot of communist money and labor put into developing that little thing, right? And it works great. 
I do miss the look of my other site here for the grenade launcher and all. It's just cool and uh, it'd be nice to maybe find a replacement for this and uh, do it. I love the wood. While they say battle worn, it's just enough. It's perfect. It looks really good. I don't think I'll put um, some uh, surplus beach uh, handguards on. I think I'll leave it just like it is. We're hoping on to get a uh, uh, rail for this for a red dot from Zestava. Initial reports, um, I'm hearing things good and bad, so we'll have to see how they work and uh, uh, whoever made them for them uh, hopefully did a good job. So I'm um, waiting to see what we can do there. But in the meantime, I told you guys in another video that we would kind of compare and contrast the two. This is my Century Built um, M70 AB2. Uh, nice and smooth as you can see. Got our uh, military surplus stock, military surplus grip, and of course the flip-up sight, which is cool. This also has the flip-up uh, tritium night sights front and rear. Front flips up right here. And uh, yeah, cool. We've also got our paracord wraps on here, which yeah, we'll finally show you how to do it. Um, unless you're left-handed, I wouldn't put one on the right side because it does snag up on the uh, safety. But look how smooth this safety is. Just super smooth. Everything about this gun is super smooth. I mean, my God. It's just, it's had so many rounds through it. This was, you know, there's Stamp Century, but Century subbed these guns out, and uh, the builders that did them did excellent jobs. This thing has just a boatload of rounds. I lost count, well over 10,000. And it's going strong. Um, rifling is maybe not quite as strong as it was earlier, but uh, it's fine. It's accurate. It shoots great and it runs everything. I did go get some bolt hold open mags out of storage, original. Uh, let me grab one here. Here's an original um, Yugoslavian bolt hold open. And oops, see, safety goes on when the paracord pushes it up there. So let's see here. Bolt hold open and I have not used it in the ZPAP yet, but I'm sure it will fit just fine. There we go. Yep. Perfect. So, yeah. There we go. I liked it. Um, the site was pushed over to the right a little from the factory. I've heard they sight them in at 25 yards. Uh, I can't verify that because, yeah, it was on elevation-wise, but it was off to the left a little. In the video, I said right. It was off to the left, so when you're wanting to center it, you chase that front sight. So we're going to push it uh, left, and with the little bit it's off, it should center it perfect, and that will make me very happy because my little bit of OCD would... Uh, that bugs me when it's not centered. So uh, it'll be centered as soon as I can find my sight pusher, which, like everything else, is in storage right now. Uh, but, yeah, we'll do that. And maybe it's a good time to do a sight adjustment video and show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like the bayonet lug, too. Everything uh, about it is... You know, as good as that, I'm hoping. Uh, the spring is obviously different from most I've uh, experienced from Zestava over the years. Usually they're very, very soft. Some of that being due to military parts kits. Others just, I think they make them a little softer. Um, in that century there, we're running an ALG spring. This we're running the stock, and we're going to leave it alone. And although it's not smooth as glass yet, it will be pretty darn smooth. Uh, seems to be cycling well, but hey, a thousand rounds, this thing will be glass. A little lubrication. We really didn't lube it. Um, took it out of the box and whammo. So it's running good. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's one of our first ones back, sort of, and all our equipment is up and running, and we're good. I hope you like the new mic you're listening to. It's an upgrade from the old one. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I can't hear the difference. They all sound the same to me. But, yeah, that being said, keep an eye out for more videos. Comparison, we're going to take these two out and blast away. And uh, make sure you check in Wednesday nights for Coffee and Kleshnikovs because it's fun. Our live stream is awesome. 8 o'clock Central. Come check it out. Hey, guys, before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're not subscribed, even if you are, check. Make sure you still are. But uh, and make sure you hit that little bell for notifications. And you'll get every notification for not only our videos, but our Coffee and Kleshnikovs live stream. Uh, Wednesday nights, you'll like it. It's cool and uh, subscribers drive this channel as do comments so get in there and comment tell us what you like or don't like about it um, we have the most experience with these Yugoslavian Serbian guns and we love them so I hope you do too God bless America God bless you and your family and as always Rockford Ordnance out